Our mission is to preserve and make accessible as much of Hawaii's moving image history as possible. They say a picture is worth a thousand words, and if every second of video holds about 30 individual frames, the stories preserved at the Henry Kualoha Juni Moving Film Archive are immeasurable. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you tonight at the Vichy's the Makaha Sons of Nihau. When I was a young filmmaker and I used to go out there and collect amazing footage. At the time I didn't know it was an amazing footage. I just wanted to be near my Hawaiian community. I wanted to be able to document them. Aloha. I'm Genoa Keawe. I've been singing for over 40 years. Well, I'm actually very humbled uh, to be, you know, the first elected Hawaiian governor. And it's especially humbling in the year of the Hawaiian. What we have here and all these little pictures here are voices of people that help build Hawaii. This was a dream, not just my dream, but dreams of many people that came together. One influential man in particular made this dream a reality. My father uh, dedicated his entire life to Senator Inouye. They met each other in the 50s and uh, they became best friends. At my father's death, uh, the senators and his staff came to me and wanted to do something. And so this is what they, they chose to do. Librarians have long been archiving history, but this temperature and climate controlled facility, which recently moved to its new home at the UH West Oahu campus, is the first of its kind in the Pacific. Now, as people are learning about the archives, you know, all of this great footage that people haven't seen in years and years um, coming to us and just um, my excitement of being able to make that, um, being able to share it and make it accessible through our work at Ulu Ulu is really, really exciting to me. With over 20,000 precious videotapes and film reels, the archives face the challenge of not just preserving it, but also making it available to the greater public. So our website is open um, not just for UH students, not just for um, people in Hawaii, but it's a public resource. So anybody can go online and see, you know, what Hawaii looked like in the 1940s, not just people who remember it, you know, firsthand, but people who never, you know, had that experience. What we have here is a primary educational resource. I see it as the voices of our ancestors that are sitting on those shelves, that have voices that we can continually learn about into the future. As the voices of the past inspire our own dreams for the future, we can be grateful for the visionaries behind this amazing resource. Reporting from UH West Oahu, for Kamehameha Schools Kapa'alama, I'm Shisa Kahonaile for Hiki Noh.